That's a maximum style roundhouse kick for the Titan Max. <laughs> Guys, I'm pumped. I'm so excited. We have the new Titan Max in the building. If you haven't heard about this thing, it is a amazing prosumer mower for you people who have a big old yard and you want a nice mower. You don't want to have to spend 12 grand. This thing comes in at 5999. So about 6,000 bucks and you get a 26 horsepower Kohler, you get a 60 inch deck and it has 3,100 hydro gear transmissions. So it has big heavy duty transmissions, a big engine, 26 horsepower, has commercial style belt, it has a big wide deck and then the tires, it comes with 23, 12, 12, very aggressive, kind of like the voodoo style, aggressive hill climbing, grabbing tires, an actual like, commercial style deck lift and the deck actually locks up the other titan series don't the decks don't lock in the transport position so i actually really do appreciate that and you get a nice high back seat armrests cup holders you get a steel tube frame i could keep going on and on and quite literally it is incredible what you get in this mower for 5999 it is absolutely insane and the titan max only comes in one model it only comes in the 60 inch with a 26 horse kohler with the 60 inch deck it, that's the only option that's all you get and you know why? Because they have honed it down to absolute perfection. Guys, we have it out here in the gnarly Bahia retention pond, behind the scenes city water retreatment plant facility that we snuck into. It's probably 10 to 12 inches high. It's been cut with a tractor multiple times, so there's giant pileups of Bahia. And there's some areas that it's nice. It's only probably eight inches and it's pretty normal, like a field. Maybe if you had a horse or something, this would be a good simulation of what your field might look like. So that's why I wanted to mow some Bahia because most of the grass we mow is either St. Augustine or that crazy, I don't even know what you call that African grass. If you know what that grass is called, please comment below because it is gnarly. It's, you'll see more of it in that 4000 series video we just posted. I'm so curious, if you watch the channel, please find what kind of grass that is. I need to know because I just need to know the name. I talk about it a lot. I always call it monster grass, grass from the devil, super grass, whatever. Toro contacted us, said, Chip, would you be interested in reviewing the new Titan Max? And I said, sure, I guess. I've already did a Titan video. And they're like, no, no, no. This is a totally different Titan. This is the step between the Titan and the 2000 series. This is the Titan Max. And um, they sent us one. I'm not being paid to make this video. Uh, it's simply just for your enjoyment and for my fun to get to make it. Because I love making YouTube videos. It is fun. So guys, here's what's special about the Titan Max that you might not know. Compared to the other Titan, check out our other video on the other Titan series. Titans are fantastic. They're kind of the middle class, zero turn for homeowners. They're beefier than a time cutter. They have a thicker deck than a time cutter. They're a little bit bigger. They have bigger transmissions generally, bigger frame, bigger tires. But the Titan Max is like, it's the next iteration. It is like the freakish big brother uh, that does steroids and plays football and is like way bigger than all the other siblings, right? Who are you? I'm Vincent's brother. We're twins. That's right. But it's still a Titan. It still has the Titan deck, but it has a bigger frame. The frame is the same frame that's on the 2000 series. So it's a very heavy duty frame. So it's a commercial style frame. It's actually used on a commercial mower. But then it has the Titan deck, which isn't necessarily a commercial deck, but still a very good deck and a very good cutting deck. That was something I was always very impressed by with the other Titans, is how well the deck cut. So this is a 60 inch Titan deck, has the big commercial 5.8 belt on it. It has a 26 horsepower Kohler. They don't use this engine on any other models yet that I know of, but it's a new Kohler engine. It has the plastic style valve covers, which I really like better than the metal ones, it have gaskets in them. It's very head, or O-rings I should say. It's a very, uh, it's a prosumer engine. Like it doesn't have the big canister air filter, but it does have a round air filter that fits underneath the housing. It's a very nice engine, so I'm curious to see how that does what the power feels like. It is 26 horsepower, which is a ton of power for a Toro. I mean, honestly, most commercial Toros don't have 26 horsepower. So this is like reaching commercial power, commercial size, but it's kind of this middle in between big brother, interesting Frankenstein mower, which I'm excited about. And I think Titan Max perfectly describes what this is. It is the maximum residential prosumer super mower. We're gonna mow around. I'm gonna see how it does on a big old slope. We're gonna be mowing slopes much steeper 
than what they recommend. Let's we'll see if it slides, see if it slips, see if it rips grass, because these tires have always kind of scared me, like, do they rip grass? Do they tear everyone's yard up? And uh, we'll see. I don't think it will, but it depends on the driver, obviously, if you're just like, uh, uh, yeah! you're probably gonna jack the grass up. But if you take your time and do the proper turn, it's probably gonna be fine. So that's just something to think about. And the stance on this thing is wide. This thing is deep. I'm talking the back, the booty of this mower is enormous. And I love that. Baby got back. Because really, it's a 60 inch. You're not using it in all these little tight, nitty, gritty spots. This is gonna be somebody who has a field or a big area, they're gonna be using this mower. It's kind of, an amazing machine and for the price I don't think it can be beat but we're gonna see today we're gonna run it around we're gonna put it through the trenches and we're gonna see how it does and I, I know I'm already excited about it but there is a part of me who just thinks like is this really just gonna be another Titan with a big looking frame is this really gonna feel any much any different and so we're gonna see and uh, hopefully I'm hopefully I'm wrong and hopefully it kicks butt which I think it possibly can because it has the potential has the recipe to be a butt kicker. You know what I'm saying? a long time it has good spindles good engineering feels right good on hills just really well built you cannot beat the titan max like a mower for people who want a commercial quality mower but they want to pay consumer prices it is absolutely a fantastic machine and it lives up to the name max because it is maximum horsepower maximum deck width and quality big maximum tires i mean it, it's hilarious they use the word max i can't get over max titan max the name is good I love it, and uh, it absolutely meets all those things. Guys, this has a beautiful and powerful place in the Toro lineup, and I am excited to have them in our building, that they're gonna be available to our customers, that people across the nation are gonna be buying Titan Maxes, because I know you're gonna be happy with them. The deck is really well sorted. It cuts amazingly well. This is Bahia. Bahia is some of the hardest stuff to cut. It's very long, it's very spindly, it doesn't react well to vacuum. It's a challenge for every mower manufacturer out there to cut Bahia well, and I rarely have seen a mower cut Bahia as well as I've seen this Titan Max cut it. I love the deck, I love the way it cuts. It cuts Bahia like a freaking laser beam. Uh -huh. Like a laser. Well. Is it the thickest deck on the planet? No, there's thicker decks, but it's thick enough. It's thick, it's 10 gauge, but it's a really nice deck. Um, the hydros felt extremely well sorted, felt very smooth, felt very powerful, and we were able to go up hills and all kinds of stuff, and it had enough power. I never felt like, wow, this thing's underpowered in any kind of way. The engine, I was mowing some of the gnarliest Bahia grass. I'm talking super gnarly, and I was mowing over stuff that's been mowed before. I mean, this is a small example, but tons and tons of grass, and it didn't bog down. That little Kohler 26 has come a long way. Amazing little engine. You know, it used to have metal valve covers, now it has plastic valve covers with O-rings on them, and they just have sorted everything out. Uh, I really like this setup. I like the engine, I like the hydros, I like the, the deck cuts well, I love the big tires. I think it's awesome. I felt like the roll bar was nice. Uh, I didn't wear my safety belt, I probably should have. But if it did roll, it has that nice option. So 
I can't imagine the slope you would have to bend in for this thing to roll over. I mean, I'm talking, it would have been like something insane. But everything felt very comfortable. The deck lift assembly works nice. I like that it locks up. You know, the other Titan doesn't do that. The Titan Max does that because this is based off the commercial frame. So that's a really nice feature. That's just beautiful. I love that. You can click it up, engage your blades, and then lower it down. I love that. I love the way everything felt. The handling felt really good. I like the deck plate. I like that I had my feet in a good position. Nice grips everywhere. I could step on and off and felt very comfortable in control like I wasn't gonna slip and fall. I love the rubber mats. You can access the deck through this deck lift or deck plate. That's really nice. They give you a 5 8 belt, a nice thick commercial V-belt. That's a big deal. That's a nice thick commercial belt. That's what you see on all your commercial mowers. Come around the back. Has a lot of room to work on this. If you ever had to, God forbid. But lots of room to get to things. You can get to your spark plugs. You can get to all your service items. It has a nice quality drain hose. It's not attached to anything funny. It's just a simple drain hose, 2 11 16 I love that. That's just simple, beautiful, works. Look at the rear end of this thing. This is why it's so good on the hills. Come over here. Show this, how wide this is. This thing's got back, son. I'm talking, this thing is a 80s rap video back. Oh my God, Becky, look at her. It's just the center of gravity, the driver's in front of the wheels, engine's behind. You have a good center of gravity on this mower. It feels nice, drives nice. Guys, I know I've been talking on and on and on. I could talk all day about these kind of things because I really care about Toro. I really care about what's the right mower for the right customer. And I don't want to ever recommend anything that I wouldn't recommend to my grandfather or to my best friend or to my pastor or whoever, right? So when I say something is good, I mean it. I'm not just trying to sell it to you because really, I don't even know who you are. You don't live in Orlando most likely. And if you do, great, come see me. But if you don't, still, this is good advice wherever you are. This is a good mower. If you're looking for a 60 inch mower for your house, Titan Max, you're not gonna go wrong. I promise you, you'll be happy. Take my advice. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm not paid to make these videos, literally not paid to make these videos. Tor doesn't pay me to make these videos. They just said, hey, we have a Titan Max. Would you like to review it? I said, sure, I would be interested. They send one down and I fell in love today. Really enjoyed the mower. I feel delighted that I got to ride it and am truly impressed with its ability and its skill. And just, I feel like it's a well-sorted, well-engineered machine and they've done a good job. Toro, you knocked it out of the park once again. Come on, enjoy watching the show. Please subscribe, check out our other episodes. We have a lot of other mower reviews. We have a new 4000 video out. You should check it out. The new 4000 series just came out. Uh, there's descriptions in the link above. And guys, I hope you like watching. Leave some comments. Tell us what you think about the Titan Max. See if this is right for you. If you're in Orlando, come test one from us. We appreciate you. Have a good day. Come on.